What's up, homies? Today I want to show you guys some of my lavender quartz. These are really cool because they're a California original. It's a specialty that we have here. and I happen to have a few examples that are really quite beautiful. Some lighter, some darker. Some with uh, kind of some silk rutile. This one kind of comes to a point and broke off at the point there. So you can see the interior of the lavender quartz. It's a gorgeous material. It's not just stained like that on the outside. I thought that when I first found it, that these cracks that are getting filled with iron oxides that you could see are just making that purple, but these stones are actually purple through and through. Some of them more saturated than others. This might be beginning to be called uh, amethyst rock crystal. But do remember that there is a difference. I mean, in the past we haven't really gotten too picky about it and we just called everything rose quartz, whether it was slightly purple or pink. And uh, it matters. It totally matters. That's pink, if you can't tell. Now you could kind of tell. Matches more with that one, not with that one. This one looks more pink, but it's actually a lavender quartz too. You have to look closely. There's more purple in that bottom part right there. So it could get kind of borderline on you, you know what I mean? Closer to rose quartz and closer to amethyst. Just rem remember it does matter if you're trying to market it or if you're trying to find a stone by typing it into a, a search engine you can have more options you know what I mean like if, if people are really hyped about lavender quartz all of a sudden and you're just marketing this stone as a rose quartz you're, you're kind of marketing it into the wrong area 